<laughs> you and George just recently celebrated your 19th wedding anniversary. Is that right? Congratulations. Yes. Oh, what a great photo. Look Allie. at that couple. How great. Now, was that in Greece? It felt like it. It was at the Greek Orthodox Cathedral, and my father-in-law, who's a priest, married us. Wow. Amazing. And um, it was like a seven-hour long <laughs> ceremony, and I was asked to renounce Satan, which I took a minute to think about. <laughs> and um, it was actually really beautiful. But, you know, I hadn't known George that long. We How were long were you? Two months. We that's dated fast. before he proposed. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It was decisive. It was decisive, and I like to say I was, uh, at the time I was living in L.A., so you either dated an actor or an agent, and, um, yeah. Well, <laughs> slim pickets. And um, I was, I actually thought Hugh Grant was going to, was my guy. No kidding. You yeah. and me both. Yes. I would really love to do a cooking show with you. He's he, he's kind of you know I like all of his romantic he's, comedy. He's great. He's yeah. great. And um, you wait, know, did you date him? No, I never even met him. But oh, okay. in my mind, <laughs> we lived in the English countryside. So uh, anyway, I was looking for a dentist. Basically, I was right. like, does anybody just know a normal person out in LA? And everybody said no. So <laughs> there are no normal. There are people. no normal people. <laughs> And I was single, I know, which is shocking that this was actually on the market for more than a minute. <laughs> but, um, and then uh, somebody wanted to set me up with George, and I was like, yeah, no, no thanks. I'm and good. Why, why the quick no? It's actually great. Because it's I grew up in D.C. in politics, and I couldn't get out of there fast enough. And, you know, here, like, Matthew Perry lives a block away, and they're offering me up George Stephanopoulos, the press secretary from the White House. <laughs> yeah, but that yeah. made sense for me. Like, I was like, of course Ellie Wentworth because and George. You, like, these are two, these are two superpowers marrying each other. Yeah, Titan. Titans. Titans. I was Titan, DC, DC Titan. Uh, DC Titan. So, yeah, at the, you know, I was on a this living This is America's color. first family yes, by but, the but, but, Yes, yes, so I it, am the crown. It <laughs> was a blind date of sorts, right? It was a blind date. Yeah. We were set up by an old girlfriend of his who I didn't think, she didn't think it was going to stick, and it stuck. So he he called me, and I said, actually, I'm coming to New York. That's the other thing. I lived in L.A. He lived in New York, which is, you know, long distance. So I said, listen, I'm going to be in New York in a couple months. You know, maybe we can have coffee. And George said dinner, and I was like, Ugh. get it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's a, a commitment. Right. It's too much of a commitment. Yeah. Even if he pays. And I was an actress, so anybody that pays <laughs> anything for me, you get me. But I was like, no. <laughs> and, uh, and so finally I said, what about coffee? I came to New York. We decided on lunch. We met at Barney's, because my, which is a department store that no longer exists. <laughs> and my but the restaurant is still there. Is it still? Yes. Fred's? There's no Fred's clothes, is but still they there. Still the... They have Fred's still there. Oh, wow. so just empty, the... ma empty mannequins <laughs> and then like eggs Benedict. It's very sad yeah. and uh, depressing. Well, but at the delicious time Delicious and yet delicious. Yes. Well, at the time it was thriving. And yeah. so I said, I'll meet you at Barney's. I figured. You know, if it was a total bust, I'd get my keel scrub. Like, there's, I'd buy myself something. Yeah. And we met. We both ordered crab salad. We uh, instantly said, what antidepressants are you on? And we was like, Zoloft, <laughs> me too. How much? 150 milligrams. <laughs> Woo! And afterwards, you know, in L.A., if you like each other after a date, you know, you're, you're in, in a hotel room by the right, hour. Of course. But in New York, so George was like, it was really nice to meet you. And he shook my hand. And I thought, oh, well, I'm out. That's like, that's, yeah. you don't like the girl when you say it's really yeah. nice to meet you. But then I learned that's how George shows emotion. And right. um, <laughs> he called me up that night and asked me out again. Which, and I didn't play hard to get. He said, do you want to have dinner tomorrow night? I was like, I'm free tonight. I'm free. Like, I got nothing. And he was like, well, I do. Um, and we went out again. And then I went away with my mother and sister. And the whole weekend, I talked to George on the phone. And they were like, uh, we were at a spa. And they kept saying, we're doing yoga. And I was like. <laughs> and then my mother would throw me a bran muffin because I just stood on the phone the whole time with George. That's anyway, amazing. So sweet. he proposed and I said yes, and we, we have been a fairy tale ever, ever since. since. <laughs>